The aerospace sector in Connecticut is a very important employer. I see people that work for my suppliers and I see my coworkers on a common basis. So it's a very tight-knit community, significantly large community in, in Connecticut. So we have over 4,000 manufacturers in this state and anywhere ranging from small to large businesses. All of the processes that require that are required to make an aerospace component we have here within a 50 mile radius of each other. Yeah, I think Conway Aerospace is very competitive because being here in Connecticut, we have that tribal knowledge base that grew up in the industry. Being so close to the customer base is obviously a very huge advantage. So it's a very big advantage that I think Honda Korea has having U.S. kind of footholds that helps us then garner those relationships with our OEM customers who have the people here on site um, to help get processes moving faster. Also having that tribal knowledge and expertise to help here to, to kind of kick parts off. Um, a lot of the new part introduction is kind of where that um, helps out significantly. So we've been um, partners with Hanwha for many years, over 10 years. We've been a supplier to Hanwha, supporting primarily the hot section engine components. Relationship with Hanwha essentially gives a better product to our large customers like GE, Rolls-Royce, Pratt & Whitney, all of the large OEM manufacturers across the you know, country. And we want to continue to grow that partnership because Hanwha has been wonderful to work with. The aerospace industry is a major provider of employment. And when I say employment, I mean stable jobs that last for 30 years. The initiative uh, culminated in six months ago uh, with the naming right, with the granting the naming rights of our design lab for under Hanwha Aerospace. And investment or the, the naming rights was for about uh, $200,000 and they take our students for internship for a couple of years there. And most of them, or many of them, will continue with, with Hanwha. Having partnership with Hanwha allows them to do that, to be able to work in projects that directly relate to industry. We have at least 15 students from either mechanical or engineering technology or even robotics that are uh, interns at Hanwha. At least of five of them who have been hired as a full-time uh, people for Hanwha. Hanwha is an integral part of the economy here in Connecticut. We have sent many students every year uh, to work there. They've been happy and we're happy for them. Uh, I certainly hope that more companies follow Hanwha's lead. My internship at Hanwha is definitely something big to me because it's a lot of you know experienced engineers, people who want to learn, people who want to teach. You know, um, people are interested in innovations, so it's really building me for the workforce and just preparing me for when I actually start working as an engineer after I graduate, so it's, it's been very interesting. So Hanwha Aerospace focuses on providing a precise product, a high quality product, and it starts in the supply chain. We work with a big casting and forging companies all over the world. And then we say, what components can do our processes line up to in those propulsion systems so we can make the best of our capabilities to be the most productive, to be the most cost competitive. I think the major thing that everybody's speaking to is the indigenous engine themselves having, having an engine there for them, you know, their own country. Um, and I think it's very important to have them have here the understanding, the technology and the people to help grow their expansion and knowledge in the industry and the aerospace realm um, to help them produce their own indigenous engine.